Yo, what up everyone? It's me, Pokey Island, with a new video, and it's a very different video than what I usually do, as you can tell by the title. It is a story time video, which, um, basically, it's, it's just that. And, uh, before I start the actual topic, I just want to go over a few things. One, is that I am recording this at basically 1am right now, so my voice is more quiet than it usually is. Secondly, is I've been sick for the past few days now, so that's why I haven't made like a video, but I am working on the Sonic Frontiers video this week, because it's spring break, so I got all this time, which I might even upload another video, who knows, ooh, but yeah, I'll uh, be ready for that, so, for the actual story, uh, I'm gonna talk about this creepy kid and honestly this kid is probably the creepiest thing i've seen in real, in real life like honestly the creepiest thing ever dude and uh, I'll, I'll, I'll explain why which it's already in the title it's the lemon kid so basically this kid who everyone at my elementary school he was at my elementary school uh grade about third or fourth i can't really recall the exact grade but i know it's either third or fourth so third or fourth grade there was this kid the lemon kid and he was this little this little white kid with like like a dirty blondest hair and the hairstyle was more like a bowl cut side so he looked like the kid from home alone basically and this this kid was the creepiest kid. It, it even it still gives me the goosebumps to this day, dude. And um, the reason why is because uh, every day. Well, for, let me begin. Let me start off with for for fact one is that he never talked to anyone. He never said anything. He never said a word to anyone. He had no friends. He did not have anyone to talk to, like. The only time you could ever hear this kid is when, you know, the teacher called on him and you're like, hey, uh, what's 19 plus 19 divided by the size of your butthole? And it's like, ah, 16. And, you know, he had the normal voice of his age, you know, because, like I said, at the time we were in third grade, which is what, like what, age 7, 8, or all that. So, you know, that's the only time you could ever hear him, right? And he just never talked to anyone. He never talked to anyone. And at a uh, classroom, you know, he just always sat. Uh, he we were he was sitting in a group of kids, but he never talked to them. It was always quiet. Um, at recess, he always went to the uh, small playground because my elementary school we had two playgrounds: one big one, one small one. The small one was for the kindergartners, I believe. Yeah, it was. And he always went to that one for some reason. He always hung out there. He was the only one who did. Like, occasionally there would be kids going up there to just have fun or whatever. But he always, he was always under one of these slides. Because these slides had like this indoor area or whatever, you know. And, yeah. But he never, he never played with other kids on recess. And he just never talked to anyone. Uh, I, one of my friends... One of my old friends tried to talk to him once, and he just the kid just ignored him. <laughs> like he just ignored him. But that's not the creepiest part. You know what the creepiest part is of this kid? Which uh, this is this is honestly the creepiest thing I have I can ever think about to this day. This is the creepiest set ever. At lunchtime, he only ever ate lemons. Every day, he ate one lemon. Every single day of the 180 days we had to go to that school, both semester, or no, do we have semesters? I don't, I don't know. But every year, I mean not year, he only stayed at the school for one year, which I'll get to that later. But every day, he ate one lemon. That's it. He had a lunchbox. He sat at the lonely little horizontally long table which was 
in a corner of the cafeteria wall. He was the only kid there with his little lunchbox. Every day just grabbed one lemon, which, by the way, he ate the skin of the lemon. Like, he ate the lemon whole. He did not skin it. He did not do any of that. He just ate it whole. And he had, that's all. That was all in his lunchbox. He he, he occasionally had water bottles, but, like, so most days he didn't, didn't even have a water bottle. Like, he, he just, that's all he ate was just one lemon. And, you know, that's obviously why people called him at my school. People just called him the lemon kid. Um... I mean, even the teachers thought this kid was weird. One of my teachers, actually, he was my, um, he was the, I'm trying to think, yeah, he was one of the Spanish teachers. He tried to talk to the kid once during lunch, and he told he told his class once about the kid, which my friend was in, who told me about it, who told me what he said. Basically, this teacher tried to say, like, hi to, hi, hey to the kid, you know, trying to see what's up. Just ask him how he's doing. And then the kid just stared at him. Like, he did not say anything. Like, he, 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 he stopped what, what he was, whatever he was doing. And he just stared at him. Did not say a word. And the teacher got, got creeped out. And, like, he just kind of walked away. He was like, he just said, have a good day. And I just, I just find that the creepiest thing ever. Like, every day, this kid just ate one lemon. And yes, I saw it too. Like, during lunch, I swear, every time I went to lunch, I would have at least five seconds or whenever I could to just look at the kid eating a lemon. Right? And, you know, most of the time, he was either eating it or he was already finished and he was just either having his head down or just literally just staring at the wall. Like, he would just stare at the flipping wall. Like, just, just sitting there, just motionless. Which I just thought was the creepiest thing ever. Everyone was creeped out by this kid. No one chose him during, like, partner selections. Fucking, it was sad, dude. And, and here's the creepiest part. Was that, after that year, and um, he was not seen again. Which, uh, not another thing about it, it was in fourth grade. Because it was fifth grade after this, yeah. So, in fifth grade, he was gone. Right, this kid just left. Nobody even knew where he, what even happened. Like no one knew if he moved, which was the obvious theory. You know, nobody, nobody knew. Nobody knew where he even went because again, he had no friends. Nobody, he never talked to anyone. He was like, even if you try to talk to him, he would just stare at you. And there, but despite this, one of my friends did happen to see this kid during the summertime because you know that happens that happens sometimes you can see people from your schools whenever you go out you know because you live in your area so during the summertime one of my friends who who i still talk to to this day actually not a lot though but he told me that this is in fifth grade by the way so when he told me that during summer break he saw the lemon kid uh, in his neighborhood, walking because my friend was riding his bike around his neighborhood, and then he, and then well, when he took a turn, he saw the lemon kid just walking on a sidewalk. And thing was, is that you might think this is normal, right? Is this oh, he's just walking on a sidewalk? What's what's so bad about that? He was walking without swinging his arms. Is what my friend told me, which I thought that's the creepiest thing ever. Like, just, ugh, God, this this kid, man, it just gives me the heebie-jeebies. I don't even like thinking about it, dude. Like his face, like his his face. Think about his face too. I, you know, I know it sounds this sounds mean, but like it looks like he has no soul. Like, like it's something. It's, it's just like he has. Yeah, y- y'all y'all ever seen those little baby dolls? You know, the, the, the weird, realistic baby doll. His face looked kind of like that. Like, it had the same vibe as that. It's, I just find it work. It's way creepy, man. But, yeah. That's the Lemon Kid. Uh, little Urban Legend, I guess. <laughs> I don't know where he is now. He's most likely my age, too. So, yeah. And, yeah, that's my first story time video. 
Hope you guys did enjoy. Tell me what you think about this. Tell me if you guys have any weird lemon kids at your school. <laughs> uh, if you do, like this kid, man, he just ate lemons like he's fucking Mega Man. <laughs> but yeah, like I said, guys, be sure to like the video. If you guys want more story time videos, then let's get this video to 30 likes. I'll do more of them, uh, especially creepy ones. But yeah, see you guys next time. Peace.